Welcome to a new edition of the Caravan Diary and you find us heading up the A140 in the rain between Ipswich and Norwich. We're quite close to Norwich now, haven't got far to go to get there. We're on our way to Fakenham in North Norfolk where we're going to Fakenham uh, Racecourse campsite in the middle of the racecourse there on the first of this year's Goba Owners Club rallies. Goba's Owners Club do... Uh, they do some pretty good rallies and they're usually not too large. I think this is probably the largest. It's the Owners Club annual general meeting and we're going to see what happens. But looking at the weather forecast this morning, well, it's rainy today. It may be a bit rainy tomorrow, but it's supposed to be a nice weekend. So we're driving up the road with our fingers crossed. Well, it's Thursday morning and we've just had really a rather pleasant night in our little caravan, despite the fact that it was raining cats and dogs. Really. I quite find the sound of rain on the caravan roof um, fairly restful, really, and it doesn't stop me sleeping, so I tend to sleep like a log. And the uh, rooks and crows out there, well, they don't start uh, making a lot of noise until about half past seven or eight o'clock, maybe half past eight in the morning. So they didn't really give us any kind of problem. Perfectly acceptable crows, I think. <laughs> Yesterday, when we arrived here, we didn't really get finished until about half past five or six, what with putting up the awning and the brakes in the rain. So rather than cook anything, I decided we'd have a scratch meal and we'd go to the local Morrison's, which is the local big supermarket, to get some grub. Uh, what we've always had in the past on these kind of occasions is some of their pre-cooked meats. They quite often do very nice uh, roast chicken, which is available hot, and we get some bits of salad and that makes a perfectly fine meal. But yesterday we went along, about six o'clock I guess, and we got some chicken breast, what was described as chicken breast, but it turned out really to be um, a bit of chicken breast, but a lot of bone, and it was cooked to death really. In fact, Dot didn't eat most of hers, I ate most of mine, um, and then we threw them away. But I thought that was really unpleasant to eat. It wasn't very nice, it was kind of okay, and we were jolly hungry. So today I thought I'd go back and have a word with the management at the local Morrisons and see what they say. Because I don't think really that that was as advertised. It wasn't a very nice piece of chicken. It was, you know, done to death really through being in their warming oven. And it's not what you expect from the big supermarkets. You do tend to expect that they're good enough at their job to always give you nicely presented meat. And if they overcook it or make a mess of it, you expect them to withdraw it from sale. We'll see what they say.